Hey, how's it going? I'm Jay, and today I'm going to be watching The Naked Gun 2.5 from 1991 for the first time. The first one was absolutely hilarious. Like, Frank Drebin is just a funny character that just stumbles his way into success somehow. As with many comedies of this nature, there's going to be certain jokes that I can't keep in for copyright reasons because they just run too long. So my apologies in advance if your favorite joke is missing, but I do my best. And now it's time to see what Frank and Jane get up to in the smell of fear. And I'm sure we'll see Nordberg at some point. Let's start the movie. <laughs> What is going to happen here? Oh, I knew it. <laughs> you son of a bitch, Frank. <laughs> oh my god, she goes for a guy who looks just like him in the background. This week we're celebrating Law Enforcement Week. This week he is being honored for his 1,000th drug dealer kill. See, the last two I backed over with my car. <laughs> Representing the oil industry, head of the Society of Petroleum Industry Leaders, better known as Spill. <laughs> Come on. Society for More Coal Energy, or Smoke. Mr. Donald Fenswick. And from the nuclear industry, Key Atomic Benefits Office of Mankind, Kaboom. Just such low-hanging fruit. Pat. President has That's appointed a big as ass lobster. Advisor, Dr. Albert S. Meinheimer. And Dr. Meinheimer will present Tuesday evening. <laughs> oh! Dr. Meinheimer. He really just like is not paying attention to everything going on, almost like me. It's like I'm so focused on him trying to eat this lobster that I'm like ignoring the political stuff in the background. With all the corporations trying to work together, like I can kind of get it, but missed a little bit. God, I really like these intros. Oh, watch out! Ew, what? What are we in? Oh my God, we're in the birth canal. <laughs> Who's this guy? Aww. You're thinking about him again, aren't you? You just can't forget about him, can you? Who? Frank. <laughs> when you've had that much man, you wouldn't understand. Uh, um, J Jane, Jane, look, you, you mustn't be so hard on yourself. <laughs> I was telling him about the speech that you were preparing for the press. Good evening, Miss Spencer. Dr. Meinheimer. Look at this. I found this in the wastebasket. It's because they're trying, like, the other three guys are plotting to get rid of him. I wonder why they threw it out. Probably because it's four minutes too slow. There. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, they were trying to kill Meinheimer. I was in the middle of getting my car washed when I heard the call over the police scanner. Part of the president's Operation Scum Roundup. <laughs> the guy's still scrubbing. They just finished searching the building. Now there's no Norbert. sign of break-in and there's no money missing. Any other victims? Uh, you're standing on one right now. Oh. <laughs> Get him out of here. A woman. She saw a man leaving just before the explosion. She looks pretty bad. I'll handle it. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Oh my Frank, God. Not that bad. Why is the hunchback here? I couldn't believe it was her. It was like a dream. That delicately beautiful face and a body that could melt a cheese sandwich from across the room. That's actually quite the compliment. She was the kind of woman that made you want to drop to your knees and thank God you were a man. She reminded me of my mother all right, no doubt about it. <laughs> Frank, snap out of it. You're looking at her like she was your mother, for Christ's sake. George knows. How are the children? We didn't have any children. Oh, uh, yes, of course. I know this is awkward, but you're not still obsessed with our relationship, are you? Because you backed out on the wedding two years ago. I'd forgotten all about it. Ancient <laughs> history, like the Democratic Party. So I had to return 13 Cuisinart. <laughs> Kept the salad shooter. Though. Oh, Jane, there you are. Uh, Frank, this is Dr. Albert Meinheimer. Don't get up. Nice to meet you. I believe we've met before at the White House dinner. It's a face. He has a photographic memory. About this man you saw last night. Yes, I, I gave the sketch artist a description. <laughs> he was just trying her? <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, what's that one all about? Uh, he's Caucasian with a mustache about six foot three. An awfully big mustache. 
<laughs> Awfully big mustache. On all temperature control by the machinery just below us. <laughs> Many of our scientists have spears on their experiments and are just oh, now shit. making Oh. I was so worried about you. I'm really okay. Why is Robert Goulet in this? <laughs> Frank, this is Quentin Habsburg of Hexagon Oil Company. Are you in some way connected with the Institute? Well, not officially, but as a matter of fact, Jane and I have been seeing quite a lot of each other lately. Mm. I've been dating too. Nice girl, an author. She wrote the book on male sexual dysfunction. You've probably read it. <laughs> what a burn. The Blue Note. I'm feeling blue. That's a... Uh... Vitamin C. I don't know if you guys remember the graduation song. I just saw her recently in Eminem's first horror movie, like first movie ever. And it's a horror movie called The Hip Hop Witch. And she's one of the girls in it. <laughs> oh, she's got everything. We've got little nooses or something in there too. Give me the strongest thing you got. <laughs> <laughs> On second thought, how about a black brush? <laughs> the acknowledgement breaking the fourth wall like we're not going to do this joke <laughs> you know sometimes i think about you and edna we had the same person every day for over 30 years make love to the same woman while i'm out running around with some 20 year olds who just want to have a good time and cheap sex <laughs> oh hello i'll see you in the morning I love that this is like the blues lounge and everyone's just like depressed. And same with like the person walking by with all like the pills and stuff. Like, so good. Sam, play our song. Play, uh, play the other one. Didn't you get the letters I sent you? Didn't open them. Tore them up, threw them in the fire. Then you didn't get the check for 75000 that your uncle left you in his will? <laughs> Frank, I want us to be friends. But if I dusted you for Prince right now, there'd be a lover boy, Quentin Habsburgs. Oh, you. I see a certain kitten still knows how to scratch. <laughs> His facial expressions are so good. Imagine Leslie Nielsen being a YouTube reactor. He would kill it. I don't even know why I came here. I was hoping you'd be happy. I, I love being single. I haven't had this much sex as I was a Boy Scout leader. <laughs> I was dating a lot. Jesus. Frank, don't be a fucking weird creep. I mean, he's gonna be weird, but don't be a creep. That speech is in two days. I know you're all worried. Plenty to be worried about, like this solar power plant. They convert sunlight directly into electricity. What about Meinheimer and his report? Yes, he's going to tell the president. Why don't we just ask him? Let's get that. Oh my God. Good heavens. But Dr. Meinheimer will deliver his speech. For now, we must rely on coal, oil, and nuclear energy. Yeah. Gentlemen, meet Earl Hacker. My fee is one million dollars. I'm worth every penny of it. <laughs> oh my god. I think one of the guys at the table there was from like Jason Takes Manhattan, Peter Richmond. He's like the weird uncle guy, and he gets uh, dunked into like the toxic waste barrel. Just take it easy, man. Say your prayers. <laughs> Was that weird, Al? We weren't able to get any clean fingerprints, Captain, but we did find footprints outside the research institute, a size nine and a half D. We're running a trace on it now, but even- What's going on back there? A major find from the Paleolithic era. I'm booked on Geraldo next week. You're going on Geraldo because of this? No, my wife is a transsexual Satan worshiper. <laughs> oh, Geraldo. I miss that show. That, like Sally, Jesse, Raphael, and Ricky Lake were basically all I watched. Hector Savage from Detroit, ex-boxer. His real name was Joey Chicago. Hey, I saw a kid in Minneapolis fight once. No, oh, you're thinking of kid in New York. He fought out of Philly. All I know is never bet on the white guy. <laughs> Neutberg just nods and walks away. That's the red light district. Wonder why Savage is hanging out down there. Sex, Frank? No, not right now, Ed. Uh, we got work to do. You knew it was coming. That's the cops. Oh, I gotta be careful with this scene. There's friggin' dildos all over the place. Let's bug the van, see where it goes. Good thinking, Frank. Lieutenant Frank Driven. Is this some kind of bust? Well, it's very impressive, yes, but we need to ask you a few questions. <laughs> We're looking for a Hector Savage. Now, where is he? Say, we got that model D83 Swedish Sure Grip suck machine in that you ordered. <laughs> 
Oh my god, can't show that. <laughs> Just like a drill though. Stop! I'm a police officer! Lord Burke's bugging device is right on the money. Oh no. Oh, this would be terrifying. Is he going to be in the hospital again for the whole movie? <laughs> Looks like the cows have come home to roost. How you doing, Trooper? Oh my god. Throw down your guns and come on out with your hands up. You just try and take me, Drennan. No worry, Ed. Just keep him busy. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, no brakes. Giraffes and elephants and zebras, camels. What? I love that this has like production value. It has money behind it to have just like monkeys sitting around and it catches me off guard because you think like a lot of these kind of movies, they don't seem like they would have a lot of money, but they do have so much money behind them. Like that door, it's like pure gold. Look at this place. Telephone call, Commissioner. Thank you. How many animals escaped? Do you realize that because of you, this city is being overrun by baboons? Isn't that the fault of the voters? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Who tomorrow will make his historic address. Who did the Robert Goulet thing? I think it was like SNL or something. Like Norm MacDonald, maybe? Oh no, it was like Will, Will Ferrell? Quentin Hefford. Man is as dirty as the coal miner's underwear in January. Look at these moves. You're just jealous because another man can give me the understanding that you never could. I just hope your pal Quentin is watching right now, because I know he'll be jealous. And a jealous man always makes the wrong moves. Okay. You need to work on your dips there, pal. Ooh. That's pretty impressive. Holy hell. Solitaire is the lonely man's game, Hefberg. You do speak French, don't you? Unfortunately, no. But I do kiss that word. <laughs> Who's this? Blew up a building he shouldn't have, and he's driving a van that's registered in your name. You so much as sneeze, and I'm gonna be there to wipe your nose. We would like to ask our guest of honor, Dr. Albert S. Meinheimer. Here, let me help you with that. No, that really won't be necessary. No, no trouble at all. Just like, please don't touch me. <laughs> oh, that was a big one. I like that guy. He has a good look as far as like a villain is concerned. <laughs> just gonna be stems when he hands them over. Place is kind of a mess. And I was just about ready to make a protein shake. <laughs> He just fucking throws it away. Do you know what Dr. Meinheimer is going to say at the press club dinner tomorrow? He's going to endorse energy efficiency and renewable energy like solar power. Who would be the biggest loser? Well, coal, <laughs> oil, and nuclear. I once told me that Dr. Meinheimer had a photographic memory, yet tonight he never recalled meeting me. Frank is on to him. He knows. He has a birthmark in the shape of Whistler's mother on his right buttock. I see, well. What are you trying to tell me? That tomorrow that devil will give a fraudulent report to the president? That's a lot better than what I'd come up with. Stop it. <laughs> this is preposterous. I use your phone? Local call? Yes. Local call? You'll excuse me. Let's take my shower. The phone is in the other room. What the hell? Why? I get it. She was like wearing really big shoes. Like, why does she need to be taller for that scene? Ed, I'm onto something big. <laughs> Frank, get in here. When he just loves the song. 
Trippy over a pig. Oh no, he's gonna fill him with water. Oh jeez. <laughs> Who the hell was that? What the hell happened to the water pressure? Oh, I was so frightened. If I were you, I wouldn't leave until they've had a chance to shampoo the carpets. Oh my god. Gross. He was carrying this. Habsburg Valdez. We have to help Dr. Meinheimer. He's in danger. I'll probably torture him, then kill him. Oh, that's <laughs> all my fault. I guess I better be on my way. I promised Nordberg we'd bake a raisin nut bread tonight. <laughs> Why is he just standing there like that? I ran away from you once. I can't do it again. Oh, here we go. I haven't seen ghosts, but I know the scene. Shirtless Leslie Nielsen? I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> what a hunk. I knew it. I knew he was hiding something under those clothes. Oh, she's a dummy mommy, is she? <laughs> They're just gonna keep rolling with this. Hey, it's way less awkward this way. And more YouTube friendly. <laughs> All we've got is some dot <laughs> pass at your hunch. <laughs> <laughs> Just can't seem to get the on. When you hear me say, I love it, you guys move in. You went on the dog? <laughs> the water's over there, Frank. I love Frank. He's so funny. Future captains go through a rigorous instruction program. We weed out those less qualified for the day-to-day -day operation of a half million tons. Just like, don't be drunk. Ew. Our home is being supplied by nuclear power. We kind of think of it as our friendly neighbor. But remember, our <laughs> friend can't... The dog has two tails. They got killer guard dogs here, do you read me? We're at our destination. And they are going to try the roof. With the grappling hook? Let's see how this goes. <laughs> exactly as expected. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Poor dog. Just like, what the hell is going on? That would be the last thing I would expect to see on a roof. Cut the power line, right? <laughs> Ooh, the table. It's Lieutenant Drebben. You were supposed to have been killed last night. <laughs> that smell. I've been swimming in raw sewage. I love it. That's the signal, let's go. Do it, do it, do it. Great. I love it. <laughs> He's wired. I want the pleasure of killing you. Pleasure is all mine. <laughs> See you after the speech, Lieutenant. See, Frank might be a fool most of the time, but he ends up figuring it out somehow. It's just like the lack of awareness. Like he has reasonable ideas sometimes. Was that the one? Ew. Feathers? Oh no, the popcorn. The packing corn. Sneezing increases your bus size. Freeze! Get over there! Don't move! Oh. Look at what they did to Dr. Meinheimer. Uh, that's okay. It's just you and me. <laughs> just like, that's not the guy. Alright, he's had enough. 
Somebody help the captain. <laughs> We've got to get to that press club dinner. What is that, Johnny Chicago or whatever the fuck his name was? I told Jane to meet us at the hotel's rear entrance. Where's that, Frank? In the back. No, not the mariachi band. Please tell me they're, they're gonna all dress up like them. Just getting a breath of fresh air. <laughs> I grew up on Lake Erie. Something must have happened to Jane. I have a better idea. Yes. Follow me. OJ dressed like this playing the trumpet. What is even happening? Why do I feel George Kennedy has done this before, though? I don't remember him doing it in anything, but... I'll intercept Hacker. You get the doc prepared for his speech. Oh, yeah. Nordberg loves it. Look, you're mine, Hammer. Hacker. Women! He's doing to that man in the wheelchair! Come on, guys. Let's get him! <laughs> you better get this man some first aid. He's put a stranglehold on our neck. And some people are going to be hit hard. <laughs> Cutting until we have an impact. <laughs> Albert S. Meinheim. <laughs> Well, it's going to be hard for that other guy to come out now because they can see this guy. He can walk! He can see the miracle! <laughs> so without further ado, I present to you once again, Dr. Albert S. Meinheimer. Hold everything! Don't listen! Wait, did the podium get smaller? Because the real Dr. Meinheimer has a birthmark in the shape of Whistler's mother right here! Oh! Oh! Obviously a forgery! <laughs> Scrub harder. Oh. There is a fraud in this room, but it's this man. God. And he's just given us this signed confession implicating that man. <laughs> They're all criminals. Quentin Hapsburg. They're gone. Let's go. That was his like Superman moment to reveal his normal lieutenant clothes. Whoa. <laughs> Making a sniper rifle out of a pistol? Well, it's more than a sniper rifle now. I don't know what the hell he's making. Oh, wow. I thought it was somebody shooting out, not shooting in. Way to go, Nordberg. Habsburg! Where are you hit? You're on my groin. Oh, sorry. Habsburg has plan B. Where? Where? All right. You lay off. Uh, Habsburg has plan B in. Talk, you lowlife scum. If that's your attitude, forget it. I'm right here, Drebin. Drop your gun, Lieutenant. All right, the showdown. I believe you are inquiring about Plan B. Your Dr. Meinheimer can talk all he wants. No one's gonna be left alive to hear it. Oh, shit. Any final requests, Lieutenant? Can I have the gun? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it was worth a shot. <laughs> Wow, what a stunt. <laughs> I didn't expect that at all. I don't think he did either. God, we've got to warn everyone. Yeah, right. Jane, you'd better go. If you're going to be blown to bits, I want to be here with you. If we ever come out of this alive, I'll never let my police work interfere with our love again. The bomb. Come on, Lord Burke, let's go. <laughs> Four minutes to detonation. <gasps> per your command, the speed of this sequence has been oh, greatly geez. increased. The federal government <laughs> for only $500 million. He finally gets the speech and no one gives a fuck about it. Whoa, the scorpion. Here, read this. It's an emergency. Stroking the love muffin? 
<laughs> as he thrust his purple-headed warrior into her quivering mound of love pudding. His purple-headed warrior? I'm calling it that from now on. Uh, we just stay calm. No one's going to be harmed by the huge bomb. It's a cookbook! It's a cookbook! Let's get out of here! One. Oh, you just needed to unplug it? You did it! He's a true hero. Once again. I'd like you to consider filling a special post I'm gonna create. Dangerous nights and being surrounded by some of the scummiest elements in our society. You want me to be in your cabinet? No. <laughs> no. I want you to head up a new Federal Bureau of Police Squad. Congratulations. I'm afraid I'm going to have to turn down your offer, Mr. President. I guess love is like the ozone layer. You never miss it until it's gone. I want to be known as the Environmental Police, police Lieutenant. I want a world where I can wake up with this woman whom I love. Oh, no. Frank! Jane, will you marry me? Yes, of course I'll marry Excellent. <laughs> the Richard Nixon. He's going to be on the front page of all the newspapers once again. And that was the Naked Gun two and a half. Once again, Frank Drebin, played by Leslie Nielsen, was amazing. His facial reactions and just like the unfortunate incidents that happen all around him uh, is just so funny because he's one of the few people that actually like does stuff wrong other than nordberg nordberg is also clumsy uh priscilla presley obviously she did a great job uh, i really like the cast robert goulet shockingly played a very good villain i think it's the mustache but it's just a style of comedy that's just so silly and slapstick and just dumb fun that I think most people will just enjoy these even if you don't pick up all the different jokes because obviously there's a lot of stuff here both like from a political standpoint and even stuff that's just happening at that time in the early 90s you're not going to get everything if you're watching it for the first time now but it was fun and I still had a blast and I hope you had a blast watching my reaction if you did please let me know your favorite uh, jokes in the comments like this video and if this is your first time here or you've seen my reactions before and you haven't subscribed yet now's the perfect opportunity i do a couple reactions a week generally one is a comedy and one is a miscellaneous movie whether that's a drama a romance uh an action movie or westerns which i'm gonna cover tombstone soon so that's gonna be like my second western ever so please subscribe so you can join me for that but thank you for joining me for this one and i hope to see you on the next one